115 of our team devotional. Let's go ahead and have a moment of prayer, our reading, and then our short lesson for today. Most gracious God, we come before you, thanking you, Lord God, for this day that you've given unto us. Father, we pray, Lord God, that as we come closer to you on today, that you'll reveal to us new understanding so we may apply to our lives and our lives, Lord God, may glorify you in all that we do. We bless you. We honor you. We give you thanks. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Your reading for today comes from the book of Judges, chapter 14, verse 1 through chapter 15, verse 20. And we are now in the book of John, John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 28. So our lesson today comes from the book of John. And um, I have uh, experience where um, I've talked to individuals that were really, really uh, intelligent and uh, family members that are, you know, really intelligent and, and research things and found different things. I didn't want to bring those things before me and rub minds and see what we can figure out and how things make sense. And one of the most interesting topics that was presented to me was the Christmas. Um, you know, when, what season of the year it was, what does it really mean, if the holiday is really legit, just all these different things about Christmas. I remember telling someone that God is a bottom line God. It doesn't matter if Christmas is really um, was really cold or if it's really hot or if it's really in December or if it's really in March. The bottom line is that Christ was born. And so we find the Christmas story in the book of Matthew. And as you become older, you are going to meet with intellectuals that will want to make sense out of God's word. They're going to want to make sense and justify why do you believe what you believe um, and find fault in it. And they're going to bring up to you the story of uh, that is is written about in the book of Matthew. And they're going to bring it up to you and they're going to say, you know, according to um, historical information and geographical information, that these things really couldn't have existed and um, the holiday of Christmas was created because, and they're going to give you a whole list of things of why Christmas should not be given that type of attention that we do. And if you're not careful, you'll start to shrink back from why should I celebrate Christmas? Why, why should I, you know, all these things are true and, and, and they all seem good and I don't have anything else to come back and say. And so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I shouldn't do the things that maybe I shouldn't believe as much as I believe. Maybe I shouldn't spend the effort the way that I spend the effort. Maybe I shouldn't even talk about Christmas and things like that. What well, today we have good news. Amen. We can turn to the book of John. The book of John says that the word of God was made flesh. And I want to read it to you verbatim from the text for today because I really like the way that they put it. But it says here that in the beginning was the word, means Jesus is eternal, existing forever before creation. The word was with God, says that Jesus relates with God as a face to face equal. The word was God reveals that Jesus is distinct from God, yet also truly God. It also says that the word was given to the world, both Jews and Gentiles. The word, the name of Jesus stood for the powerful intelligence that created and rules this universe. So John 1.1 1, 1 may not give the Christmas story that we're used to hearing about in the book of Matthew, but it is still the introduction of Christ to this world. And that is the, is the bottom line of Christmas. So no matter what anyone tells you, no matter what anyone wants to bring to you about what they've researched or what they understand or what they think they know, the bottom line is Christ came. And for that, we give God all the honor, glory, and praise. Amen? Praise the Lord. Most gracious God, we thank you, Lord, that Christ came. Father, we know that man has the ability and sometimes, Lord God, uh, 
the, the know-how of all things and tend to argue all things. But Father, there's one thing that no one can argue, and it's the fact that you sent your son to save us. Father, we thank you for the salvation that comes only through your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that we're able to tell others more about him so that they too can have their own Christmas story that comes with the present of eternal life. God bless you all. Have a great day. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and we have given thanks. Amen. Bye-bye.